Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use your own pendulum as a tool of divination. So, divination means to seek answers to questions from higher energy sources, such as demons, angels, spirits, nature, and any higher energy forces that are above us as humans. So, this is one that I purchased from a local shop in my town. So, as you can see, this part is a crystal, it's called the bob, it's the weight at the bottom, and it's tapered to make movement easier when you're using your pendulum. This one is made out of a silver chain, but you can use string, chain, or anything really that can suspend it. At the top, we have a ring to make it easier to hold and to secure it while you're using it. So, so because the materials that pendulums are generally made out of are pretty expensive and hard to find, I'm going to show you how to make your own pendulum and how to use it when you're finished. To make your pendulum, you're going to need some kind of chain or string. For mine, I chose this black hemp string. I found this on Amazon for less than $10. You're also going to need some kind of measuring tool, so either a ruler or measuring tape. I have this measuring tape right here. You're also going to need a ring to grasp on the top of your pendulum. So I chose this ring that I already had just lying around. You're also going to need some scissors, and you're going to need a bob or a weight for the end of the pendulum. I chose this one. It is a crystal. It's a lapis lazuli, um, and it has this loop at the top where you could attach the string. It's always better to have a tapered one so that it makes the movement easier. So the first step is going to be to measure out your string or chain. So you're going to want to have enough so that it makes the movement easier for the pendulum and the weight at the bottom. So usually it's recommended that you use 8 to 10 inches, but no longer than 11. Um, but we're going to have to leave some extra on the end so that we can have some room to tie it. So I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure out about 14 inches so we have some room to tie. So starting at the top right here. Measure out about 14 inches. Okay, so right here. I'm gonna cut my string and then we can start tying. Next step is going to be to attach the ring to the top of the pendulum. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the string and leave that out, string it through and I'm going to double knot it at the top so that it's secure. So now I've double knotted the string right on the bottom of the ring. It looks pretty secure and I cut off a little bit of the excess and now we're ready for the next step. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're going to attach our bob to the bottom of the pendulum. So remember, the ring goes on one side, bob goes on the other, so we're going to use the empty side of the string and using the same method that we use with the ring, you're going to double knot it and just string it through and cut off any excess. So after you've attached both the ring and the bob, you are all set and your pendulum is ready to use. So now that your pendulum is all made and ready to go, we're going to talk about how they work and how to use them. So pendulums are used as tools of divination. This means seeking answers to questions from higher energy forces like spirits, angels, nature, and anything above us in energy levels. So they're generally used for yes or no questions. They can be used for broader responses if you use a pendulum chart, but for beginners, this is how they're generally used. So you're gonna hold the top, the ring that we attach, and you're gonna suspend it like this and hold your dominant hand underneath the bob this is your non-dominant hand at the top holding the ring. So first, you're going to ask a question. The old... First, you're going to ask a question. The thing I always do first is ask the pendulum to show me yes and then show me no. So you know what responses you're looking for. So I'm going to put my hand underneath, focus on keeping my arms steady and my hands steady, and I'm going to ask the pendulum to show me yes. So the pendulum is circling which means yes. I'm going to steady it with my hand. Show me no. It's going back and forth. 
that signifies no. So using this method, you can ask as many questions as you like, and as you get more advanced in using your pendulum, you can create a chart with various other responses, and the pendulum will just point to the answer that you're seeking. So thank you for watching. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your new pendulum. Be safe and have fun.